now the next step is to make the mold. I'm going to attempt to make a two-piece mold going right down the middle, so half and half. So any place that there can be air trapped without a vent can cause problems when you're trying to cast it. And like I was worried about, these claws might be an issue. I'm just wondering how do I surround those with the clay so they're still vented? So I'm going to leave the top of the claws open and if I have to, I'll draw some vents out from each claw. We'll see how that works. Looking at the volume here, that's a little too much, I think, for the amount of silicone rubber I have, so I'm gonna have to trim back those, those pegs that I have. I wanted to keep those in case I wanted to anchor it and do something else, but gotta make do. I hope I'm doing this right. It should be ready to go. I put these bolts in here to act as keys. So when I put the molds together, it kind of locks itself in place. I think I got the edges all secured and it should be able to hold rubber and get all the shapes I need. Let's look at the directions here. 10 to 1 ratio. Let me tell you, I failed chemistry the first time I failed chemistry. Passed it the second time. I can learn things. Direct eye contact may cause irreversible eye irritation. No, reversible eye irritation. Well, at least it's reversible. Get my goggles. Let's use a vacuum chamber. I don't have a vacuum chamber. How do I make such a big mess so fast? much 31 grams okay well we'll fix that I'll just take an extra scoop just a little scoop okay I trust that so it said to use a vacuum pump to get the air out it's not an option so what I'm gonna do instead is I got this little massager thing works pretty good Hopefully this will help shake some of those bubbles to the surface. Okay, this is terrifying. For some reason that's kind of terrifying. A 
covering that up with that rubber, but that's the first half. We let that harden, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. There's a problem here. I can see some of the clay. I don't have enough rubber. I've got to mix up a little more really quick. Okay, so it's the next day. Rubber's hard. We're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Oh, that's kind of bad. So I opened up the mold and there's some rubber that came through. Something went wrong. Well, that didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. The other half, but there's a lot of little stringers on the edges. I don't think I had the clay packed in tight enough, or maybe the, the vibrations mess things up. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll just keep going with it and see how it works in the end. Problem. Had some leaks in all the corners that I had to plug up. Anyway, we're ready to open this one. But somehow there's no seam become a solid block of rubber. There it is. So apparently I didn't put enough mold release on there. And it all fused together on the bottom. So I took a scalpel and I just cut it open. The problem is I didn't follow the right line and there's one leg that's stuck in there. It's just kind of sad because if I would have just put more mold release on there, this wouldn't be an issue. I kind of ruined it just because I didn't spray enough of this. It's kind of frustrating. Broke the leg off. I was kind of hoping I might be able to just get it out, but leg popped right off inside there. Everything else came out pretty good. I ended up just cutting the leg out there so I have a new seam there. But it looks all right and the pieces still fit together. So I'm still gonna use this and see what we get out of it when we pour the wax. I might be able to fix this too. I'll fix it. So what I have to do next is I have to cut the channels for the wax to get inside. I think this will still work. We just vented small vents for all four feet, and we have 
pretty good cast of the bear. So the next step is going to be to take this block of microcrystalline micro wax. We're going to melt it and pour it into the mold and see how it goes. It's not perfect. I can still sculpt and, and fix the little details in the wax before we turn it to bronze. But step two to mold making is done. If you've made molds before, please tell me how to do this better. I know I can improve. But for now, we're gonna go with this. Subscribe for the next one, the wax casting, and I'll see you next time.